We all know that long periods of sitting, long periods of, of being sedentary is not great for our body. But what does it actually do to us in the long term? Stick around because in this video, Marty and I are taking you through a follow along routine that is going to reverse the effects of being sedentary in under 10 minutes. People who have sedentary jobs experience chronic lower back pain. And this is often due to poor posture, immobility, stiff joints, muscle imbalances. But the good news is that you can do something about it. You can create more movement interjected into your day so that you are not so sedentary for long periods of time. Over the last few years, Marty and I have started to work towards floor sitting, floor living, spending more time on the floor, working through our hip mobility. And you can do the same by transitioning from a standing desk to a sitting desk to a floor desk. This is what's optimal variation when it comes to having a healthy body and healthy joints. So I hope you enjoy this follow along routine. Once you've done the routine, we recommend you doing it a few times, like once a day. It only takes a few minutes. We would love to know how it feels in your body. So please like, comment, share to someone who needs it. And we look forward to hearing how you go. Hey team, we're gonna start this movement routine in a wide stance and we're gonna start circling around with our whole body. So the hips are going in the opposite direction as the torso and we're maintaining a flat back as we work through one direction. As you come up to the top and extend back, the hips press forward. We hinge and move into a range that feels doable as we maintain a flat back and get a nice stretch in our legs. We're then gonna move into a forward hinge, maintaining the wide stance, hinging over the legs. Coming up, you can have bend in the knees, squeeze your bottom, come into a back bend. So it's a hinge forward over the legs and then a back bend, moving into a range that feels good for you. So you don't have to overdo it here. You can keep it as small or as big as you like, opening the front of the hips and also opening the back of the legs, maintaining that flat back as you hinge forward. We'll go for one more hinge here, opening up into an easy back bend. And then we're gonna maintain this wide stance, but this time point the toes wide as well. Sink into a nice wide deep squat as we then shift from side to side. So shifting the knee over the toe, coming deep through the center and moving over to the other side. So as the knee tracks over the toe, the opposite leg fully extends. You're trying to stay as low as you can as you shift through your center, keeping your torso upright. You should get a nice stretch through the groin, through the inner thigh here as we shift with control from side to side. Take your time here, opening up the hips and we'll slowly bring those feet hip width apart now toes pointing forward for our roll down. Take a breath in as you exhale, rolling down one vertebra at a time, peeling down till the hands meet the ground. You can bend the knees as much as you need to, sinking into your deep squat. Hips start to go high to the sky and then we bend the knees and roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the top, middle and lower spine. Forward fold, sinking the hips. If your heels do not touch the ground in your deep squat, that's no problem. You can keep the heels elevated. Always working and exploring ranges that feel comfortable for you. On this last round, we're gonna stay in your deep squat, sinking here. You can bring the elbows into the inside of the knees here, pressing the hands together and just opening wide for a deep breath. All right, so once we've done that, you may need to widen your stance as we slowly tap the knee from side to side onto the ground. You can have the hands on the ground for a little bit of support here, or you can move more into a side bend variation like Marty here. So the knee can either tap out to wide or in front. We wanna be gentle as the knee gently kisses the ground with control. So we're working through a lot of our toe mobility here and also opening up through your hips. So as much control as you can as you move side to side and then we're going to come down onto our bottom and this time feet wider than your hips. You can lean back into your arms and just let the knees drop from side to side. So we're taking one hip into internal rotation and one hip into external rotation here. Keeping a nice open chest, leaning back into the hands 
and just exploring your hip mobility in these two ranges of motion here. We're then gonna bring the feet hip width apart in front, roll the shoulders back, fingertips can be pointed out as you come into reverse tabletop. So we're gonna engage these glutes here as we press the hips high to the sky, wide open chest, pushing the heels or the feet down into the earth as you press the hips up, opening the front of the hip and also engaging our glutes. Let's go for another one here. And we're going to meet now in your down dog. So when you're ready, tucking your toes, lifting your hips up, settle in your down dog by pedaling the heels, one up, one down. Nice, wide, stable base here. Your knees don't have to be straight. We're gonna roll out to a plank. You can slowly drop the knees here, open the chest, sink the hips, easy up dog. So move throughout the pace that suits you as you move from down dog here, rolling out to your plank, dropping the knees gently, sinking the hips, open chest. Slowly rolling back, transfer your weight back to your down dog, rolling out to your plank, dropping the knees, sinking the hips, easy up dog. Rolling back, hips lift, back towards your down dog, breathing in here, rolling out, sinking the knees, opening your hips, Reversing, easy up dog. Rolling back towards your down dog. Really nice. From here, you can drop the knees and we're just gonna freestyle a nice, easy cat cow here. Moving your spine in any direction that feels good for you. So let go of what it looks like here and just move into whatever feels good. Whatever movements your spine needs, it can be side to side. You can go into circles here, front, back. And then we're gonna come into a lunge. So bring the right leg forward, scoot that left knee back, and you can elevate that left knee here as you move into a twist, right hand high to the sky. Two hands down, sink the hips back, easy runner's stretch. As you come forward, elevate that back knee, or you can have it on the ground, whatever's gonna feel good. As you go for that twist, and then reach back towards that runner's stretch, getting that nice opening in the hamstring. Big twist, high to the sky. Coming back down, knee drops, and over to your runner's stretch. So good, you can hold that runner's stretch just a little longer as we switch sides to the other side. Find your nice big lunge. Scoot that back knee back, elevate the back leg. Two hands onto the inside here as you go for your big twist, chest to the sky. Coming back down, scooting back to your runner stretch. Coming back through, big twist, chest to the sky. Coming back in, drop the back knee, easy runner stretch. Nice work, getting a flow here. Just one more big twist through your spine, hand back down. Scooting back for your runner's stretch and take an extra big deep breath in and out. So good. From here, that back knee is going to come underneath you as you bring your bottom to the ground. And we're going for a big twist here as we're sitting on our bottom towards that leg, that left leg that's crossed over. So we're twisting to the left, elongating the spine, looking back, inhales are lengthening our spine, exhales are bringing us a little further into the stretch. We'll slowly unwind and swap sides. So bringing the left leg underneath, right leg on top, inhale, reach up. Exhale, big twist to the right this time. Again, inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, allowing you to go just a little bit further. So good as we stretch those glutes, feel that opening through the side of your hip. And we'll slowly bring our feet in front, give them a good shake, let out any tension, let it all go. I hope you feel so good after that routine, looser and more free in your body. Thanks for joining us.